Welcome to the June 4, 2024 Akapai Maintainers Meeting. Uh, we have a quick agenda for today. Uh, Stephen prepared it for us. Thanks, Stephen. We're going to do a check in on the technical debt pro progress and, in particular, on the dependabot PRs that were open. I believe those have been dealt with, but we're going to go over those as well. Uh, check in on the current open PRs and issues and see if there's anything that is high priority that we need to flag or um, take action immediately on. Um, I think nobody is new. If so, shout out, but I'm gonna get started. And let's start with a pull request. I see that the dependable PR uh, handled by Patrick was merged yesterday. Um, there was another. There was another one for poetry dependencies that he dealt with as well. Uh, I assume everything is going smoothly. Jamie, uh, you you merged one of the two. Are there any comments and any gotchas you wanted to comment about? Not really. I merged a whole bunch of stuff on. Uh... On Friday as well. Um, one thing was for the demo, there was one library that did a major upgrade, and I don't know why, but I just told Dependabot to ignore that one. But um, no, it went pretty smooth in this repo. We'll see how many pop up all the time now. So, but but if, you mean that Dependabot should not be flogging us with major major upgrades right now, right? Yeah, it was just one library, and I have no idea why it was okay. just flagged that one. We can make but add breaking check changes with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Let's move on to the open PRs and just like, do a quick scan through what we have here. This is yours. You're adding a sort of flower badges to the main readme. I think it's fairly. No, yeah. okay. Oh, Steven approved it. Okay. So this is probably going to merge as soon as the tests and the checks are going to go by. And it's going to be nice. Thanks for doing that work. Yeah. We're going to have, as everybody can see, Jamie's been working on executing the um, Sonar Cloud on every PR. We now get a summary inside the yeah. PR. This one doesn't yeah. have any code. So that's why the coverage is yeah. still. But yeah, yeah, the for maintainers just going into the sonar cloud and uh looking around is good. And um when you have new PRs now, it's it's really helpful for reviewing code and stuff as well. So I don't know how many people here are gonna do stuff like that, but if you go to the C analysis details when a PR with code. Oh, is okay. yeah you can see all types of stuff on the code quality and helps you find stuff yeah and there's like so also the, like a changing coverage right that's how we started this whole this whole yeah so this one doesn't thing. have coverage but if you went to a different pull request let's try there'd be, um, Yeah, that one might not either because it's a library. Oh, it's just a dependency, yeah. Just go to the second one, the draft PR, or this one was. This one has stuff too. So this, this looks like it might be a big. Yeah, so this one has 100% code coverage because it was just changing a few lines. But then um, mm -hmm. if you go into the code tab at the top, um, if there's problems here, all right, like uh, if the if there's code quality stuff, it gets reported in these things, and then it also flags security stuff now properly. So it's all types of stuff you can do with it when there's a more complicated PR. Perfect. That's pretty useful. Yeah. yeah, it's very helpful. All right, so that's going to be merged. Do you want to go over the second one that is still in draft? Is there anything that we need to? discuss no it's just something that sonar cloud flagged so um actually can you just go back to the sonar cloud 
UI. I'll just show, show you quick. So it does a scan on main branch. Um, so if you, yeah, go to main branch. So there's, we heart, we don't have very many security or reliability issues at all. There's only four low security. And then there is a few reliability ones that I think we should fix and it won't take long, but, um, that was one, if you click on the four low in the security, it shows that mm -hmm. this library shouldn't be used anymore. So that was just what that PR is gonna fix. And the, it actually does some of the medium ones in the reliability stuff too. So, so, but I think we can get rid of these ones. Mm -hmm pretty fast and some of the four high ones should definitely be fixed. It's basically saying you're not using a function correctly, like there's a problem there. So none of these should take very long, but we should definitely fix them. Good, yeah, it's a, it's a good way of like targeting technical debt with what is most useful, right? Yeah. So yeah, that was just, doing that so that will clear up a few of those things. Um, there's some more complicated stuff that Daniel needs to talk about, like that soft binding one. Um, yeah, so are you, Char, are you able to speak about these at all? Or otherwise we can just like defer it to next next meeting? Yeah, I, I haven't been involved in that work. Uh, Micah, have you, do you have any insight on this PR? I similarly do not. Okay, no, no That's... worries. We'll we'll wait for for Daniel to chime in when he's back. What is the next maintainers meeting or asynchronously? We do that. Cool. Are um, there specific uh, questions we should ask him about it, or any specific next steps? No, it was mostly just like checking checking the status of the PR, uh, okay. trying to figure out where we're at with the work, what what we're expecting, and then see if we're going to be merging it anytime soon okay sounds right good now. yeah he's doing some stuff for like flexibility um and he knows the injection the dependency injection stuff better than anyone i think so mm -hmm. he has some way to make it so uh it's more flexible with plugins and stuff but he described that there's a couple different ways that he could do this and he's kind of looking for input if he's doing it right but <laughs> okay but anyway cool. it can just sit there for now i'll look at it closer too sounds good thanks for the context there's um, a few other prs are are by patrick and are open in draft mode so maybe we're just gonna yeah i don't them. think any of these are too important there's the didcom v2 that's going to be like an experimental feature Mm -hmm. I think we do want to try to get this one in, Merge? but it, yeah. it's kind of lacking a lot of testing, but I think because it's an experimental feature, we might go ahead with it anyway and add the unit testing in general is hard to pick up. So we don't want to like make them figure it all out and test it well before, because it might just sit there for a really long time. So that's something we have to make a decision on. I think it's pretty close to being yeah. able to merge it. Have you had a chance to to look at the changes that uh, Morris is putting in for the pagination? I feel like this would be fairly helpful to have implemented. He seems to think that things are going fairly well. I haven't looked at it, but it's still kind of work in progress. But I think, okay. yeah, that would or, be a good one. Yeah. yeah. And then... It's just not a protocol, I guess, right? Potential data integrity credentials. This is the ah. the what's cooking stuff. So I think Ian's working with them. He's working on it. All right. I don't think we have any, anything else in the pull no. request section that we need to discuss. Let's switch over to the issues quickly and see if there's anything. Um, so the third one down. 
Um, okay. Yeah, so I put a comment on there yesterday. I've looked at s stuff, and I'm... Um, oh, there's a new comment there. Yeah. We have to make a decision on this, basically. Either we migrate to a different library, which is going to be a ton of work, or right now we're using a forked repo of a regular contributor, but I I really don't want to do a release like this. Like I mm -hmm. I'd be happy. I think yeah, my comment is like maybe we should um uh, have like this fork. I don't think it's terrible the way we're doing it, but I'd rather have like Hyperledger control the fork so it doesn't just get deleted out of our control. That's the biggest problem with what we're doing right now. Like, um, yeah, I want, I wonder if I wanna, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out because I don't, don't think that like these libraries specifically fits under the, the head of Hyperledger. So there might be some some discussion on whether we want to fork it under Hyperledger or not, but I think I agree with what you're what you're saying on the strategy. We at least need mm -hmm. like a maintainer to have a fork of it at the very least, but even that, like, we, um, if we want to be maintainers of the library, we might also be able to contact the original library maintainer and see if he wants help. Yeah, that's the biggest problem with it right now is they're just not responding to anything mm. like i don't know like maybe they died or something but they're not even <laughs> responding to like yeah yeah hopefully anything. it's not, not nothing as nothing that dramatic but yeah okay we're gonna have to think about a uh, mm -hmm. a way forward definitely before version one release I, we need to do something but the migration is going to be a ton of work so i think we should do something other than the migration or else we're going to be waiting a long time. Yeah, I guess one thing to consider is um, migration might be a lot of work up front if the library is reliable. Uh, if we fork it, even if there's like minor um, maintenance that we have to do, we're still going to be on the hook for bug fixes, dependency updates, and yet another repo that we have to maintain. So I'm not saying that that's, you know, Trump's completely no. the, the other, but we might want to assess on the long on the long run. Yeah, I have been trying to assess, and the biggest problem I find is a bunch of the other uh, like options libraries aren't even that much better. Like they're not being maintained, and some of them don't fit with their uh, use case, like using Marsh Mallow and stuff. So. I'm a bit stumped on what to do, but. Uh, I see Patrick has joined. Hey, Patrick. Couple, this is the one that was re referenced by the other PRs that he put up and were, were merged yesterday. Can we close this ticket at this point based on the outcome? We just need to assess moving forward whether we want to consolidate the updates in, into one PR or keep keep it a separate PRs or do we want uh, to keep it open? Well, I, I, I would probably recommend keeping it open until we do something because there's, like there's already more PRs coming in. And uh, so whether we go with uh, probably have a look at the configuration, but um, what's not clear to me, like the dependabot config, does it live within the repo or yeah. it's, yeah. So probably uh, like a, a PR that would close this is a, a PR updating the config so we can give it a try. Oh, sorry, not not the container. Go back. If we, yeah, if we decide to update it, but if we, did, if we decide to keep it as is. One. My mouse started double clicking and sometimes doesn't click at all. That's, yeah, this is the pen book config. So, all right, let's keep it open for now. We'll. We'll close as needed. Um, there's a couple other PRs from Morris for migrate. Sorry, issues for migrating from libraries. 
have we discussed these are these there's these migrate from python you see to python that's the that's the same one that we already yeah. talked about there's no draft file v or an R R D F lib i think we discussed this in the past i forget where we where we ended up No, this comment just recent. Okay, so we're still assessing whether it's uh, it's the actual solution or not. Okay. Um, Sorry. Are just... there any issues that you know need to be addressed before one dot that haven't been flagged as one dot yet? Otherwise, I think we're probably good for today. I, I just wanted to go back to the question about the HTTP, the AIO HTTP API spec. Is is there any, uh, should we maybe look at like what Fast API is using and whether that's relevant to what we can use or, because they do doc generation as part of their framework, right? Yeah, I, ha I did look a bit. Okay. Um, But yeah, any other, opinions on this would be good um what type of change like uh so there's a fork what is it like features that are being added or it's more dependency maintenance or it was so um we could upgrade uh i think it was pydantic but it was we can also use where the way it was is it was stuck on Python 3.9 as well, but um, not that we were planning on upgrading, but basically that old library was stuck in, uh, yeah. we're making PRs to the library to make it so we can upgrade stuff and they're not even getting responded to or merged or anything. So like whenever anything came up involving the, the library that we're using, there's no way to fix it. Or, and if it was preventing us from upgrading other stuff, then we can fix it. So it's not a good. And right now we're on a fork. Right now we're on a fork, yeah. Okay. So that's another option is uh, actually creating like a publish like it could just be like a Akapi HTTP API spec and we could publish our own thing. And then at least it's not on somebody's, uh, not pointing at somebody's GitHub mm -hmm. like it is now. Yeah. So that's and, another option. Yeah. I could focus on the needs of the project. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. I think that's it a was, temporary yeah. solution for now because going through and changing every single possible endpoint is going to be way more work than it's than we're anticipating. That's what I was say, saying and I was trying to think of how to migrate look at some of them and how the migration was going to happen and it's it's more complicated than you think to just the way yeah we did it specifically for this library the whole time. I'm sure it's doable but yeah I wasn't that impressed with the other libraries either in their There was one that was good for Pydantic, but it's using a different model type than us. And I don't know if it's even works with the mm. Marshmallow uh, models or not. So I think Marshmallow uses Pydantic at its core, but the library is expecting a Pydantic model. So it's more complicated than just changing a few things. Yeah. Anyway, right. I'm, I think we have some options for this for sure, but we have to do something before version one, in my opinion. Yeah. All right. Anything else to discuss before we wrap up? I don't think we have a lot more topics. Take the silence as an agreement that we're we're done. Okay.
I'll stop sharing and stop the recording. Sounds good.